Hey guys, Trev here, World Campfire Initiative, 17 Oatway Street, Ooh, the Safety Orange House, with just a real quick preamble for this video. I just wanted to let you know that the reason uh, we're talking about all these tickets and stuff and how the government and the city of Segregation Grove keeps harassing me is because I help the homeless. Originally, I had them living in my garage last winter, and uh, the city doesn't like that because the city is a bunch of Freemasons and they're not on our side. So they've been doing everything they possibly can. I mean, everything, wasting resources like crazy, bringing, uh, the whole establishment to me on the daily basis working with the neighbors around me to, to persecute me here but uh, these tickets now is the latest they shut down the grabs they threw everyone out and I said not gonna happen on my watch and moved them all into my house and now they're trying to take my house so they keep giving me tickets rewriting tickets uh, the courts are giving me the runaround because I refuse to participate in that paradigm of the failing falling, falling government and court systems and I won't and uh, and they're using that against me right now so but what's actually happening is uh, they keep doing these ridiculous things and I'm exposing them so that's what we're gonna continue doing so check this out and uh, enjoy are you aware that anybody who does evil or has evil volition or perpetuates evil vacates contract yeah man and uh, this is going out to the ladies who work at the Stony Plain Courthouse uh, at the front desk there I just want to let you guys know that uh, I'm on the hot trail of fraud here so I would suggest that when anybody calls there you give them the correct information because if not you're purging yourself and uh, the spirits giving me all the gifts to uh, expose this so govern yourselves accordingly peace Hey guys, Trevor here, World Camp Fair Initiative, 17 Oatway Street, the Safety Orange House, and I just want to take a second today to add to the debunking the government series because uh, every day something happens to me. This government, I don't know, I don't know why the uh, Segregation Grove government keeps doing the stuff they're doing in the bylaw because now they're really starting to make themselves look silly. Uh, but as I said, I'm not going to get into aggressive confrontations with these guys anymore. My my message is just going to be unconditional love, and I will continue to point these things out because uh, they're not cool. But I. I had court yesterday for, I have about 150 tickets at least, so many I, I can't even keep track of them and of course the government knows this, it's part of their, their system where they do manipulation and they, and they try and, and they get you overwhelmed and stuff because if you refuse to get a lawyer, which I do because I don't buy into their paradigms and I'll tell you what, a lawyer actually, the actual language of a, a lawyer basically uh, implies that you don't know what you're doing and, and that's literal verbatim, I forget the, uh, the, the, the breakdown of the words but I'll get that into another uh, video at some point but anyways I, I I called them this morning and I wanted to find I wanted to basically I said to them I don't have a lawyer I'm not gonna get a lawyer and I can't afford I'm a single military veteran single dad of two children and I can't afford a lawyer so I'm not getting a lawyer uh, and I won't subscribe to that paradigm but on the other other hand you know uh, how am I supposed to do this stuff myself right so they said no you have no court today you're not even on the docket I said what not on the docket now I know I know that court date was right, and this happened to me last time, okay? The last time, and this is how I know. Last time, I write down my court dates immediately and I put them in my phone immediately when I get them off the phone from the woman at the Sony Plain, uh, at the Sony Plain Courthouse office. So last, last time I wrote that down immediately into my phone and then I went to court and I, there was no court. I went there and there was no court and I'm like, what the heck? And then about four days later, the police officers came to my house because I missed court apparently, which I guess I got the wrong date. That's very interesting, right? So I missed court, so they, gave, they had a warrant, so they, we, we did that. Now I got another charge. And then uh, I wrote down the court date on my phone immediately from that immediately which was today, right? traffic stuff, Wednesdays, Wednesday mornings, and uh, no, no court today, so that's weird. So she goes, you have court on the 26th, which I have no record of whatsoever, right? Whatsoever. So I have court on the 26th, so immediately I put that into my phone and I suspect, and we're gonna see, uh, we'll see. Uh, if I if they get another warrant for not showing up for court, so that's what the, that's what they do. So when I called down there, I said, okay, why don't you explain to me then, okay, because I know that if I had a lawyer, which you guys are trying to force me to get a lawyer, and if I had one, lawyer very easily just calls down there and finds all your charges. I said, I I'd like to make sure that this is clear. How do I do this? She said, well, I don't really know. This is the courthouse. I don't really know. Uh, we don't give the tickets, so we don't really know anything about the tickets and, and, and that stuff. And I'm like, well, she goes, I think you can pay. I think. She said the word think. I think you can pay, and you can pay, and it's expensive. So I'd have to go down there and pay per you know thing, which I can't afford, and they know it. 
which is why they keep overwhelming me and they keep doing this and stuff. So uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. And you know, the court, the whole court system is actually, a, it's a complete joke and it's, 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 it's not legal. Nothing in the courtroom is legal. The whole court is fraud by itself. The judge is actually an actor. Everybody that's on a different plane and when you start to look into syntax and you start to understand language, you're gonna see. If they're on a different plane, they don't even exist in that courtroom. They're not even there. It provides uh, uh, a, uh, a separation of the language from the different uh, levels of people in the courtroom. And if you're around a box, nothing inside a box can be considered. The judges are on a box, right? A jury, which is also around uh, the box, which by the way means no law. And uh, there's a lot of things like that. Start looking into syntax, you're going to see this legal system. They can't even, you don't even have to go to court if you don't, if you don't accept their contracts because you don't have to accept their contracts when they come to your house if they have an envelope. You don't have to accept it. If they put it down, you tell them that's, uh, that's littering and, uh, and you're trespassing. Get off my property. I do not accept contract with the government, period. And, uh, and then you write a letter. We're going to go through all this stuff and I'm going to show you how to do it. And the government, the, the judges are completely trained in syntax. They understand that. The judges are just basically liars. They're actors on a stage, right? That's why they put them on the stage and they separate them from the rest of the courtroom. The judge is not the court. The judge is not at all the court. The court is the document. Yeah, the court is the document and the postmaster is the highest uh, authority in that courtroom. And if you sign your name across Anyway, I'm not going to get into it too much, but I'm going to show you how to be a federal judge in the courtroom and take over eventually here. The only way, the only way that the court can have you participate is if you actively volunteer. If you accept contract with the court, then you're obligated to participate. You do not have to do that. No, we're going to show you how. So that's what the government, that's what the city is doing to me here. They just keep continuing to do this. Um, I don't, I don't really know what the, what the solution is going to be for, for them, but I'm just going to keep exposing them. And they, like yesterday when they came here and brought me a rewritten stack of tickets after the fact, there was no need for that. It's actually called bullying and abuse of power, Jeff Acker. They just didn't like the fact that I got a whole bunch of people to uh, City Hall to stand up uh, and, and, and hold the mayor accountable, right? And the mayor's a Freemason and so are all the people and... Uh, the higher echelons of the city and so are all the judges from federal down all of them every single one of them this is why you can't get anywhere in the system but we're going to break this down we're going to show you how to do it my name is trevor one feather light warrior earth teacher and keeper of the violet flame and i hope you guys are having a great day man every single day for you look at this what a great day beautiful uh, is better than the day before it even my neighbors who i love very much bless them <laughs> and I bless this day. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. Yeah. And every single day for you, better than the day before it. Man, my name's Trevor One Feather, light warrior, earth teacher, and keeper of the Violet Flame, baby. I bless this day. Yeah, man.